Early voting has come to an end now without great turnout for this election, despite the fact there are some pretty important tax votes for folks here, but just not a lot of excitement. You know, historically, 91% of these constitutional amendments put up for a vote in Texas have gone on to pass. Our Ryan Chandler rejoins us. He went to speak with a local pastor about State Proposition 3, which would prevent city and state governments from restricting religious services, like we saw during the pandemic. We honored the mayor's request. We closed our doors. When Pastor Ed Ainsworth's congregation prepared to celebrate their holiest day last year, the Easter processions were replaced by empty pews. Public health orders shut their doors, a measure to stem the tide of COVID-19 still molding local churches even as they welcome people back in. Not everybody came back to church when it did open up. So we found that we have two churches now. We have an online church and we have an in-person church. These are the restrictions that propelled Proposition 3, a state constitutional amendment to prohibit any limitations on religious services on your ballot this election. I personally will vote for Proposition 3 because I believe the doors need to be open in times of crisis. Critics of the measure say officials need the power to protect public health and that religious organizations should not receive legal exemptions not afforded to secular ones. This church says efforts to maintain public health often sacrificed other public interests. I think it will be better to, to be able to stay open because people suffered, even the people that, that we pastor, that we know well, many of them suffered when someone died. Who were they gonna grieve with? But it'll be up to Texas voters to decide the fate of this amendment, and no matter your party or pastor, this church says to put your beliefs on your ballot. I wouldn't presume to tell somebody how to vote. It's not my responsibility, but I do believe it's your responsibility to get out. And if you want something to change, you've got to act on it. Uh, you can't sit on the sidelines and complain. Ryan Chandler, KMAC News.